guys welcome back to my channel my name is Naomi and thanks so much for clicking to watch another vlog um, as you can probably tell my voice is extremely nasally so I will be taking constant breaks to drink some hot water that I have next to me I've tried so hard to wait until um, the sickness has passed but it's been way too long and I need to get this out so we're getting right into it hopefully I can get this done in all one take so I don't have to <laughs> re-record a bunch of times but Anyway, um, this is the last and final part of me combing out my locks. As you can see, I'm completely done. I'm just showing you guys kind of how my hair is looking. Um, I got everything in like two strand twists after I took out my locks. And I'm just kind of like inspecting my hair at this point. <clears throat> um, this was about, I want to say, 3 o'clock in the morning. Um, when I was doing this, so I was extremely tired and I chose to go ahead and do a voiceover. Now looking back, I probably should have just talked through it, but you know, I did not feel like talking at like 3 o'clock in the morning. Y'all, I was exhausted, kind of as I said in part 3. I would never do something like this ever again. I would never call out my locks. So, next time I get locks, next time I get micro locks, I am going to think really long and hard about this. But, yeah, I'm just showing you guys my hair, showing you guys the length and whatnot. Now I'm showing you guys my hands and how wrinkled and pruney they look from the conditioner. Um, my hands were so like sore from combing out. I was combing out for maybe like 15 hours straight child. I don't know um, But now I'm just showing you guys the products that I'm using because I'm about to wash my hair That's blurry, but that's the same old like shampoo I use but um, I'm about to wash my hair and then I will come right back Alrighty, so I am back after washing my hair Y'all, I forgot how to wash my hair, to be completely honest. Um, I I don't know. I don't remember how my loose natural hair looks. Like, mind you, it's been four years. I think it would have been four years, maybe five days from this date. But anyway, shrinkage. Hello, 4C hair. We missed her. I would say it felt so good to run a comb through my head or like a brush is what I was using, like a detangling brush in the shower. But yes, I suctioned my hair into four parts and I just worked from there. Um, I don't know, it doesn't really look like I separated it, but you know, you know how to wash hair. But now I'm just showing y'all kind of like um, the length a little bit. I don't know what I'm doing here, y'all. Jesus help me. Okay, y'all y'all, y'all get the point of what's happening. Okay, so after I kind of, um, I went my, I didn't try to get myself together, y'all. I put moisturizer on my face. I have a t-shirt on now, so we're cooking with gas. So now I'm about to do a conditioner. Ideally, I would have wanted to let my hair rest and do like a treatment and do like a steam treatment. Pro, what is it? Steam treatment? Pro, protein treatment? Um, something like that. Like basically taking my time with this, but I had a hair appointment a braiding appointment at um i think she moved to nine o'clock she ended up moving to nine o'clock it was at 7 30 but um i had a hair appointment at nine o'clock in the morning so y'all i was trying to make this ish work right um but yeah so i'm just conditioning my hair kind of like sectioning each part out so i can get the conditioner thoroughly in there later in the video you'll see when i'm about to blow dry my hair i do not end up washing all of the conditioner out y'all um, this is a leave-in, like you can leave it in or you can wash it out. I purposefully um, left, kind of just did like a very, I don't know, lazy rinse out because I really didn't rinse it, want to rinse it all out. Um, but like I said, you'll see later in the video um, that I still have like random bits and pieces of like moisturizer in there or um, I'm sorry, conditioner in there. So um, that's why that is because I was like, eh, should I leave it in, should I not? But then I just ended up being lazy and leaving it in. Um, but yeah, guys, as you can see, I'm doing that. I'm going to do it to all four sections of my hair.
Okay, now that I have all of my hair, um, ooh, look at that other part that does not have that much conditioner on it, whatever. Um, so now as you can see, I've even evenly distributed all of the conditioner throughout my hair. I'm going to go ahead and put a plastic shower cap on. And then I also uh, am going to go on top of that with this conditioning bag. It's a bag that you put in the microwave. Um, if you guys have seen my other videos, y'all know what this is, but it has like rice in it and stuff. And the inside is kind of like microfiber, so you don't have to worry about it getting messy. But I pop that in the microwave, and I think I end up keeping that on for about 45 minutes. I think I ended up going downstairs, like, cleaning up my hair and everything that was all over the kitchen. But, um, yeah, this is a shot of... Sorry, I'm trying not to cough. <laughs> this is a, sh a shot of um, the all the hair that I lost. So I want to say it's be it's uh, it leaves out maybe, like, 10 locks. So I think this is the better half of like combing out 40 something locks of my hair. Of course, you can see the old hair versus the new hair because it has like a bunch of conditioner on it. Y'all, I ran through this comb, but it helped so, so much. But that's how it ended up looking. And this bottle was completely full. And now that is where it stands after I combed out my entire head of locks. So now, finally, we're going to get into um, blow drying my hair. This is to the end. I think it was like maybe six something in the morning at this point. I, my uh, husband and child were still sleeping, so I had to go downstairs um, as not to wake them with like this loud blow dryer child. But anyway, I ended up speeding this part up and I'm just going to let you guys watch it. I would, my ideal goal was to like talk about how the whole process went. I might have to do that in another video, but long story short, I already said I would not do this again. Um, it was very time consuming, of course. Um, I ended up cutting all of my locks, <clears throat> excuse me, in half because I just could not stand there and comb out like the entire lock. Uh, if I did not have a wedding, um, maybe I think six days after this, um, and I was the maid of honor in that wedding, I probably would have taken like longer to, you know, comb out my hair, but I think I would have gotten over it. Again, I would not recommend this like at all, to be honest. Um, if this is your first journey and you want to like kind of retain length, then up to you, of course, if you have the time, um, maybe you don't have kids or, um, you're not working intensely or something like that. You just have the time to spend, then that's perfect and that works. But in my opinion, I don't think it was worth it. I would just cut my hair off, child, but that's just me that's a different story <laughs> um but yeah overall I love 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 having my natural hair um this blow dryer was working really really well I ended up getting this from Target I believe and it was from Revolve I think I showed you guys that already but um I'll have that linked down below or Revlon not Revolve Revlon um but yeah so I ended up combing or I'm sorry blow drying out my entire head by section um, and then here I'm just getting um, my hair kind of in some sections within the section, as y'all can see. And I'm cutting off the really, really, really straggly pieces. Um, and you can see how chopped my hair looks from versus the part that's like more towards my ear versus the top of my head. Because, of course, I was going from the back to the front. That's when you can see my over it <laughs> starting to happen. So the pieces that are longer are things that I've combed out from... The entire lock the other ones that are super super short where you can see my hair was chopped is when I chose to cut my lock in half so you can kind of see that distinction again I don't know I feel like my ends are a little bit thin but like going towards the root of my hair thick because my hair was always typically thick so I was okay with it I was happy with it um I do plan on um sorry I had to step away for a second um I do plan on getting a um like my hair professionally like done and taken care of and like doing a whole steam and treatment conditioning like deep condition I might get a blowout and silk press hold your don't hold your breath on that though I might I might I might but I'll bit I'll take that of course but this is all the fallout that I had from the brush um and then I'm just kind of like oiling my scalp because again I have a braiding appointment and like at this point in about an hour and a half so I'm just kind of getting it prepared for that but I'm finished yay I'm like internally screaming at this point if I remember correctly but yeah um I use these like huge tie-in clips to try to keep my hair together but child ends up coming out but this is when we celebrate it's giving finished it's giving amazing 
y'all I have no regrets um this was filmed about a month uh, a month ago by the time you guys will be seeing this I have box braids in my hair and I do not regret 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 no I don't regret this decision at all I'm so 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 happy I love my box braids I'm ready to try some new styles already but anyway y'all loved it love the fact that I have my um, loose natural hair back so it, it's really really a great feeling thank you guys so much for rocking with me I will see you guys in the next video thank you guys so much for watching bye